The relative and percent error is another question that you're going to come up, uh, you're going to see a lot in this class, and it's another application of using differentials. So usually this is tested um, with geometric figures. So let's say we had a volume question of a sphere. Remember that the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So using the differentials form of the derivative, this would become dv equals 4 pi r squared dr. Now, you might have seen this before. The dr is the change in r, which is what we uh, use for the error in r, which is going to be given to you in the problem. So if they say the, r of the radius of the sphere is a certain number with an error of something else, that's what goes in dr. The actual r goes here. And you, with this, you can get dv. And dv is the error in volume. So that's the simple type of question, but now let's go over what it means to have a relative error, percentage error. So let's say you did this problem and you got down to dv, and you got that your dv was 1, uh, whatever unit you were using. An error of 1 in the volume, if the volume of the sphere itself was 1, is a huge error, because you could be off by the same amount that your sphere actually is. It could be double its size, and that's still within the error. However, if the error in your volume was 1, but the actual volume of the sphere was 1,000, if, if it's 1,000 and you're off by 1, that's not really a lot. So relative is trying to compare it to the actual volume. So dv over v, since we're talking about volume here, but this could be area or anything else like that. So this is relative error in volume. This is usually going to be a pretty small fraction, or a decimal, and converting it to a percent by multiplying by 100 gives you the percentage error. So they're not different um, topics. So this is your relative error in volume. I do want to point out, it's usually easier to calculate this by plugging in for these values before you just try to go with your numbers. Because, let's take a look at what we just had here. We already have expressions for dv and v on the board. There's no reason to plug in, you know, the r you were given in the problem and the dr and get these into huge numbers and then calculate those because you don't have a calculator. You're not going to be able to do that. Instead, let's just substitute. So instead of dv, we can write 4 pi r squared dr. Instead of v, we can write 4 thirds pi r cubed. And we get a lot of stuff to cancel out here. R squared makes this an R. We get pi's to cancel out, and we get 4's to cancel out. So the only thing is we have a 3, which would then come to the top because it's in the denominator down there. We have the dr, and we have one r left in the bottom. So you can see this becomes just 3 dr over r. Now this was specifically because we were using a sphere, so if you have a different shape, it will come out to be something slightly different. But you should always convert it to whatever it becomes before plugging in your numbers because that will make your life a lot easier when you're calculating your relative error.